Okay, so Daphne, you've recently made the announcement you're going to switch to sprint events rather than the heptathlon. What was it that's kind of um, started that decision off? Um, I think it's better for me and that's more in my nature. Um, I have a little problems with my knee in the heptathlon and that's why I choose for the sprint and it, I like it very much. Was it quite a difficult decision to leave the multi-events behind? Yeah, it's difficult because uh, I think I can uh, get six, seven, zero, zero uh, points in a good system. That's different. Yeah. So the heptathletes are quite a close knit family. Have you found that kind of relationship with the sprint events as yet as well? Yeah, it's different, but it's for me no problem. <laughs> so how have you adapted your training now? Now you're focusing on the 100 and the 200 meters. Yeah, I do 80% 80, 80 percent, uh, the same as that I did. And I work a little bit more for my starts and a little bit more to sprint in a week, but not very different uh, things. How do you think training for the heptathlon as a, a youngster and until recently has helped you develop as not only a sprinter but an athlete as well? Yeah, I think it's very good to train all the events because it's good for your body, your you are uh, strong and yeah, I think it's good. Uh, it's all, it's good for young people to start and to have to learn and maybe then after that to do sprints. So looking ahead to tomorrow with the Diamond League, what what do you think we can expect in the hundred meters? We will see. <laughs> do, do you have a target in mind? The time in the back of your head? I hope to set up PB. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Well, good luck, and we'll see you there. Thank you very much.